Saudara-saudari, salam sejahtera dan salam bersih. This is probably the first time you're seeing me in a sari. I normally wear the bersih t-shirt. Tetapi uh, besok hari tahun baru uh, orang Hindu Anei berdukung putan de citre putan de bartikel I wish all Indians a happy new year Happy Vishu to our Sikh friends Happy Vataki Now, I hope with the new year, we will see a new beginning for Malaysia. That is my wish, that is my prayer. Saudara Saudari Sian, we would like to go into these elections thinking they are clean. But I don't have good news for you. These elections are far from clean. Adakah medan pertandingan sama rata? Adakah dia sama rata? Is it an even playing field? Does Pakatan have the same chance as Barisan National? That is not an even playing field. You look at our media, mainstream media. Every day. Do you watch TV3? Oh, no, you don't bother. Okay, lah. Actually, I never used to bother. But now I want to watch because I want to know what they're saying. So off and on I watch it. And it's, it's entirely propaganda for one side. Entirely. New Straits Times, entirely propaganda. I, I've stopped buying the New Straits Times. Do you all buy the New Straits Times? Okay, I have friends who buy the New Straits Times. And Marika Kata, they start from the back. The last page. Because uh, you have obituary, you have sports news. All that is truthful. Then it gets less and less and less truthful till you come to the front page. So, does the opposition start with a disadvantage? As Bursay Chair, I can tell you, they do. These are facts. I'm not siding with anybody, I'm telling you the truth. Barisan has an advantage because of the way the seats are delineated. Certain seats have 150,000 voters. Certain seats have 15,000 voters. Is that fair? No. And a survey has shown that Barisan National can get a simple majority in Parliament with just 18% of the popular vote. 18% and they can win simple majority in Parliament. That's how unfair the system is. So they start out with that disadvantage. The other disadvantage is the media. That is also another disadvantage. The other one, of course, which concerns us a lot and concerns me as Bursay Chair the most, and that is the electoral roll. Senarai undi. Yang tidak, yang langsung tidak bersih. Sorry. Easy can say it a million times. I can tell you, it is not clean enough, the electoral roll. And they know that we know what they're doing. Let me tell you that too. They know exactly what we mean when we say there's something wrong with the electoral rule. Itulah sebab apabila Selangor State Government membuat uh, buat satu kajian, yeah, dan mengeluarkan suatu laporan tentang voter-voter baru. I think Elizabeth was that 500,000 new voters or 300,000 new voters. The survey. 500,000 new voters, 28% are dubious voters. They can't find them. 28% of 500,000 new voters. So what is the EC's answer? They just keep quiet. 
the Bantri Basa, the Slangor State Government wants to see the Election Commission, they are not interested. In fact, they should be the most interested. They should be the ones to immediately act if there is something wrong with the electoral rule. So 28% dubious voters. You know what the answer was from the election commission? The answer was, oh, many people move houses and um, that's why we have that problem. But my question is, these are new voters. These are new voters. If they were there 20 years ago, I can understand the Datukar address. These are 28% new voters. Where are they? So, and Slango is definitely one of the areas that has a problem. Slango, they want to recapture. You know that. And therefore, Slango, you have to make sure. Ladies and gentlemen, Saudara Saudari, you have to come out and vote in big numbers because that way we can fight the fraud. You did it in 2008. You did it in 2008. It's not impossible. Now our voter turnout is about 75 to 78 percent. Not bad. Tetapi bersih telah pun melancarkan suatu projek atau campaign bernama Jom Seratus. We want 100% voter turnout. Can you do it? Can you do it? Are you all going to vote? Dan tolong ya, saudara-saudari. Tolong semak bote-bote di senarai pengundi. Masuk laman web SPR. Please check your details. Make sure at the last minute your polling station hasn't changed. It shouldn't, because they've already gazetted, gazetted the last road. But nevertheless, please check. After the gazetting of the last road, you must check where you have to go. And please, on the morning of the 5th of May, wake up early. Go to the polling station early. Cast your vote early. Make sure you're there and make sure you cast your vote and make sure that you are going to be a part of history. That you are going to take part in the most historic election in this country. And when you vote, you are not just voting for Sivarasa, for example, or Elizabeth Wong, for example. You are voting for the future of this country. You are voting for yourself. You are voting for your children. You are voting for your children's children. Because this election is going to decide the future direction of this country. Are you going to be a part of that? You must. You can't miss it. And let me tell you some of the other tactics that are being used. I don't know if you've noticed up and down the highway, eh? you have signboards. Do you want Kaamanan or you want Huruhara? Have you seen that? What does that mean? That means they're threatening you. They're threatening the voter. That if they don't come into power, there will be Huruhara. And they're doing this. They're going to the ground. I know this. We're getting reports of this, particularly with the Indian community. And this is where the Indian community must help. They're frightening them and telling them that if you vote for Pakatan Rakyat, there will be Huru Hara. My objection is this. I'm not telling you all how to vote. That is your right. That is entirely up to you. That is your, your absolute right and now I will say responsibility. So Bursa doesn't tell you who to vote for. But you cannot frighten a person into voting for you. Because you take away the freedom of choice. When you take away the freedom of choice, then that is no longer a free and fair election. 
You have no right to frighten people into voting for you. That's why I raised this issue. Now, I have been accused of, uh, oh sorry, still talking about the politics of fear. That's one of the fears. The other fear they instill is, oh, tak payah tukar lah, tak payah ubah. Because everything is fine now. Kalau you ubah, you don't know what Pakatan will do. They don't have a track record. Well, let me tell you. Of course they don't have a track record. You've been in power 54 years. But we do have a source of comparison. And this is where I'll tell you, for the first time in the history of this country, you can compare the track record of Barisan National with the track record of Pakatan Raya. Because you can see how Penang is run, you can see how Kelantan is run, you can see how Slango is run. But of course states a bit more difficult because they have more constraints. But, you boleh bandingkan tak? Betul tak? You can compare. Siapa yang telus? Adakah mereka telus? Adakah mereka berintegriti? Adakah mereka memelihara hak asasi kita? You can judge both of them. You can judge Barisan National and you can judge Pakatan Rakyat. But you are the judge. You are the ones who are going to decide what happens in the 13th general election. It will be wonderful if the elections were clean and fair. Just imagine if they were clean and fair. Then we know that whatever you decide is what will happen. But right now, it is not clean and fair. But we can still, we can still show the will of the people by turning out in large numbers. We want, I'm going to say it again, 100% voter turnout. Can you do it? We must do it. We must do it for the future of this country. Saudara Saudari, there are many complaints about Berse, about me. They say we are campaigning for Pakatan Raya. Did I tell you how to vote? It's your right. You, you decide. But I said, we only get invitation from Pakatan Raya lah. If Barisan invites me, I'm no, anyone invites me, I will go and speak. I will go and speak. And I will say the same things that I said here. I will say that you should vote against corruption. I will say you should vote against abuse of power. I will say, don't forget Teo Bing Hock, as Elizabeth has said. Don't forget Sugumar. Sampai hari ini, tak ada autopsy kedua. 80 over days. Is that civilized? And I will tell you, don't forget the corruption. Don't forget the abuse of power. Don't forget all the various financial scandals. Don't forget we have trillions of dollars that have gone out of this country for no reason. Capital flight out of this country, don't forget that. That's what I will tell you. Because for me, that's voter education. For me, that is telling you what you should take into account before you cast your vote. And I will say the same thing if I was in a Barisa National Turama. I will say this is not an even playing field. I will say this is not a free and fair election. But I will also say that the people will make the difference. Wait and see. I have so much faith in the Malaysian people. And all these politics of fear. Don't be frightened. There's nothing to be frightened about. I can tell you why. 13 million people will be out there voting with you. You are not alone. You are not alone. When 
I, when we had birthday three, I didn't for one minute expect 250,000 people to come up. I was not alone then. And you are all not going to be alone on election day. And that's why I always tell people, Malaysians have a way of surprising you. You just watch and see what happens on the 5th of May. It's going to be the highest voter turnout that we have ever had. Saudara Saudari, one more thing they were frightened you about. And that is about change. No need to bring change. It's frightening to have change. Let's carry on as we are. Well, I have news for them. We are already changing. Change has already come. Even before we cast our ballot, change has arrived. And that is because Malaysians have changed. We want a better governance. We want, we want a clean governance. We want a better future for our children, for our children's children. That's who you'll be voting for on the 5th of May. We, this country will never be the same again. Let me tell you why. Since 2008, for the first time, we have seen a, a, a multi, a two-party system in Malaysia. For the first time, we had a viable opposition. And did that do good or bad? Good. It can never be bad. And ultimately, that's our goal. That is Bursay's goal. Our goal is to have multi-party democracy. We want a proper two-party system. We don't like what Pakatan does. If they come to power, we will throw them out at the next election. But if we want them there, then we have the right to bring them in in the next election. But the point is, the power should be with us, not those in power. The power must lie with our vote. That's what clean and fair elections is about. We should be able to change the government if we don't like what they're doing. It's as simple as that. And in the next election, that's what you're voting for. That's the system that you want in place. People's power, absolutely. And absolutely the boss okay come on it's us right yeah. yeah and it has to remain that way and this is what we are fighting for because ultimately it means we have a better democracy that's all simple as that we want an MACC who's fearless who will prosecute even the Prime Minister if he is guilty of corruption that's the kind of MACC we want that is what we are voting for in the next general election. And if Pakatan comes to power, we will make sure they give that to us. If they don't, they'll be voted out in the next election. Simple as that. So it is good for us to have a strong government and a strong opposition. It is because we have a strong opposition, all those financial scandals were exposed. Otherwise, none of us knew anything that was happening. The other interesting phenomena is the growth of civil society. The growth of people power, actually. It is amazing. There are many NGOs who have worked for years and years and years to bring us to this point. One of them is what Elizabeth mentioned, Swaram. They've been fighting quietly for years. But you can see the fruits of what they have done. We owe a debt of gratitude to all these NGOs who have been fighting for so many years for human rights. And with the growth of civil society, what does it mean? It means we can fight for a better Malaysia. 
and a third feature from the last election or just before even the last election. It is the free and fair online media. It is information. People in Malaysia now get information. We don't have to rely on the mainstream media. You can now get information from the online media. And that is making us wiser. That will make us better voters. That will make us make the right decisions in the next general elections. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know I've said it is an uneven playing field, there's cheating, etc. But, and I have to repeat this, we can fight it. We can fight it by coming out in large numbers. And that's all you need to remember to do. But there's one other project Berse needs your help with. And that is the Citizen Observers Project. Have you heard of Pomantau, our, our Citizen Observers Project? You just have to go to our website. We are going to observe our own elections. We are going to have citizen observers. It has happened in other countries. It's nothing new. And we are going to observe outside the polling station. Because it has been proven that with citizen observers, you can cut down the fraud. You can cut down the Panipuan. So we hope you will help Bersay. Will you help Bersay with that? PRU Katiga Blas Adelah PRU Rakyat. This is the Rakyat's general elections. We are going to take democracy back. We are going to take ownership of our elections. And we are going to make sure that things are different from now on. We are to demand the highest standards from all our politicians, from all those that we elect in. I, I remember going to the parliament when they were presenting the PSC report. And there were many school children there. And I sat in the gallery and I was so embarrassed by our parliamentarians who were shouting at each other. And I thought, what are our school children going to learn? By the way, please don't ever send your children to the parliament house, okay? Until you ch things change. They learn really bad, they can learn really bad habits, they can learn bad language. There are parliamentarians who are racist, who are sexist. This election, keep them out of our parliament. That's our parliament. Keep them out. Shut the door on their faces. How dare they think they can be a parliamentarian and carry on and insult our intelligence. How dare they think they can do that. How dare they think they can treat it like a holiday. Half of them don't even go. And when they go, they don't contribute. And if they contribute, they contribute rubbish. We want a higher standard of debate in Parliament. We, we are looking for that too. You please decide where you're going to find this. Do we have people who are running for elections who have these standards? I believe we do. We do. We have so many talented Malaysians. And let me tell you, when I go on my trips overseas, I meet so many Malaysians. And I wonder why they're there and not here with us, building this nation. It's not their fault. The system works against them. But you know what they have said to me, some of them? If things change here, they're coming home. They're coming home. We're going to bring our talent back. We want our talent back where it belongs. Malaysians are one of the most talented people I know. Their sense of humor, I mean, is tremendous. You know that, right? Great sense of humor. So, this is all about nation building. And the next Prime Minister has to be a statesman. It, he has to be someone who can heal the wounds that this election has caused. One of the most divisive elections that we have ever had to face. 
so much hatred between the parties. We need a statesman who will unite. That's what I'm looking for in PRU Pratiga Blas. And that's what you should be looking for in PRU Pratiga Blas. Thank you very much.